for people interested in moving to cities that have dubbing, what advice would you give them? What should they prepare for? Um, well, right now, there's really only two cities to move to for dubbing. There are uh, three. There's California, Los Angeles. There's Dallas, Texas. And there's New York, New York City. A lot of dubbing, a lot of anime is going to Texas right now, especially with the Crunchyroll Funimation merger owned by Sony. So uh, they've really been trying to get a lot of stuff back in-house. We were work working remotely a lot during COVID, but the nature of anime dubbing, dubbing to picture, really is much better suited for an in-person environment to be actually in the studio. So it's hard for LA actors to get over to Texas if they're going to be doing it entirely in studio. But if they're going to keep it a hybrid thing with remote open, you know, we'll still get the opportunity for that. Uh, LA is a really big hub. We've got Bang Zoom, Studiopolis, VSI, a bunch of studios out here that do dubbing. Um, and they do more than just anime dubbing, live action, uh, things like that. Uh, but they, what you should prepare for, though, is these are, depending on which city you go to, New York or LA, very expensive. So prepare a few months living expenses and be ready to find a job that can kind of make ends meet because voiceover ebbs and flows. I still struggle to pay bills with voiceover alone. I'm doing a lot of gig work to try and make ends meet, but be prepared to try and make your own men ends meet. Also, and... not, not to interject. No, no, no. Yeah. There, there are a lot of people who they might have a part-time job or what they do is they do training videos. They might mm -hmm. do commercial work and mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff that happens. Also, if you can, a lot of people might be doing script writing if you get into mm -hmm. that. And so all of a sudden, there's a lot of stuff that people do that's not so-called, I guess, because there's a lot of stuff that has to get done in this mm -hmm. that's not the actual voice work, if that makes any sense. And I don't think I'm speaking out of turn with that. No, Where's, no, no. Actually, that's Robin a lot of... Does a lot of training videos. You know, mm -hmm. he, he's, um, in case you don't know, he's Rainer from Attack on Type. Um, he voices Rainer, so... He does a lot of stuff. He also does Stain from uh, My Hero. Um, he was on my other show, and he was talking about this. So I think it's safe to say he also a bunch of these people also might be doing podcast stuff. Mm -hmm. They might be doing podcasts for major companies, streaming, so wrestling, <laughs> anything we can there. Um, but yeah, no, a lot of actors have turned to script adaptation, and there's a lot of work for that available now because. There's a lot more anime being released than ever before. I think every season, just just for three months, they're releasing more anime than the first five years of my career put together. <laughs> I'm seeing so much. The, the studios are pumping out productions, and that means that there's going to be a lot more work for script adaptation and all these other places that really need to happen to make this kind of industry function. So um, yeah, just be prepared to find something else while you're putting in the numbers game, because you're gonna have to audition a hundred times to get one role 